it's Nin. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to cook cabbage rolls. And I will also give you three delicious dipping sauce that going very well with this dish. I will start with the filling. The main ingredients are minced chicken and shrimp. For the shrimp, you will need to peel, deveine, and wash until it's clean, like this first. After that, you can start to finely chop it. Or just rubbery chop if you prefer to shield pieces of shrimp in the filling. Or mix both, just do what you like, be fun with cooking. After finishing this, I want to transfer this shrimp to stay with the minced chicken. Then follow with the seasoning, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and a lot of black pepper. It's time to make the last thing for the filling. I'm going to add chopped garlic and chopped onion into a wok of hot oil over medium heat. Then stir fry for about 2 minutes or until it turns nice and brown. After that, I will add chopped mushrooms. In this recipe, I'm using shiitake mushrooms, but you can use any mushrooms you can find, like creamini or white button. I will stir fry this for a few minutes or until my mushrooms are softened. Then turn off the heat and transfer this into the bowl of the filling that I made earlier. I forget to add green onion when I stir fry, so I will add it now. Then I'm going to mix everything until it's combined. After that, I will let it sit for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to prepare this large cabbage. There are two ways to prepare this thing, easy and difficult. So I'm sorry for those who want to see the difficult way, because I will go for the easy one. Before you are going to do this step, let's boil some water in a pot first, and make sure your pot is a bit bigger than this cabbage. And once the water is boiling, add some salt, stir a little bit, then Lower the heat and go back to the cabbage. Okay, first you want to cut off the top part of the cabbage, like this. Then peel off the leaf gently, one by one, until you have the quantity you want. For the rest, you can use it with another recipe like stir fry with glass noodles and oyster sauce. I will leave the link in the description, you can go check it later. Alright. Now the cabbage leaves are ready to place into the boiling water. You want to cook it for about 4 to 5 minutes only. You don't want to cook it longer than 5 minutes because the leaf will be too soft and that make it difficult to wrap with the filling. Also, you can lose all vitamins when it's too cooked. I will remove it from the pot and directly bring it in a bowl of cold water to stop the heat process. Repeat this step for the rest of your cabbage. After that, you want to strain the excess water from all the leaves. And before the next step, let me show you my cabbage leaf. The color and the texture are exactly what I want. It's cooked but it's still fresh and crunchy. And because I have to cook it again later, that's why it's best like this. Place your cabbage leaf on a shopping board. Then add about 2 tablespoons of the filling in the middle of the bottom part of the leaf. I will start to roll from the stem end, roll the leaf up tightly like this. Then fold in the size of the cabbage leaf and roll it until end. Ta-da! You will have it like this. Does it look good? In case your cabbage leaf has a tough stem behind it, you want to remove that by using a knife to cut it off, just like this. And because you cut that off, that's why it will make you have a really nice and tight cabbage roll. Do you still remember? Add about 2 tablespoons of the filling in the middle of the bottom part of the leaf. Don't forget to roll it up tight. After that, fold both sides and roll it up again. Now heat your steamer over high heat and wait until it's hot. Once it's fully hot, 
Bring in your cut base roll. You want to let the roll steam for about 10 minutes just to let the filling cook. During that time, if you like this recipe and want to support my work, just give me a big like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to receive my easy and yummy recipe every Saturday. Okay, 10 minutes passed. I will remove all those rolls onto another plate. By the way, did you see that juice? Keep it. You want to add it in the dipping sauce later. Heat a little bit of vegetable oil in a pan or a skillet over medium heat. And when it's hot, brush it all around the pan. Then place the cabbage rolls on it. I will set these rolls just for a few seconds to have a slightly brown on each side. Now let's make a yummy dipping sauce. The first one is spicy mayo and you want to mix these all together. Give it a whisk until all combined. It's super easy and also super yummy too. The second one is sesame cream sauce. Easy peasy. You want to whisk everything together until it's combined. Then, transfer it into a bowl and sprinkle some sesame seeds. And the last one is spicy garlic sauce. Add everything into a blender or a food processor if you have one. I will blend it until smooth because I like it like that. I can't wait to try! I'm going to start with the spicy dipping sauce. Oh. This one is spicy. It's good because I'm a spicy lover and I'm extra hot. <laughs> the next one is spicy mayo. It's very interesting because I add the Thai chili paste. Mm. Sesame cream sauce. Mmm, the dipping sauce is so delicious. Also, the cabbage rolls, really tasty and juicy inside. For me, I think this cabbage roll is very good for diet and lose weight. But I'm not sure it is the best for that or not. But anyway, it's tasty and juicy, so please give it a try. Alright, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. See you next week. Bye bye!